The central government is now constituted a single member committee chaired by a senior officer of the rank of additional secretary to government of India to verify the candidature claims and other details of Ms. Pooja Manorama Dilip Khedkar. The committee will submit its report in two weeks. So the center has uh, to verify now Pooja Khedkar's IAS candidature. She is the IAS officer who allegedly has fudged her data her details, including whether she used disability certificates, whether she used an OBC certificate, and she reportedly was asking for, among other things, for an Audi car and other benefits. Piyush Mishra now joins me live with the latest. Piyush, what is the government of India planning to do here? Well, I think this has come after the intervention which has been uh, made by PM Ho. What we are learning is that the central government has now formed a single member committee that would be uh, chaired by a senior officer uh, of the rank of additional secretary to the government of India. And uh, uh, the committee will verify the claims uh, of the candidature of uh, Pooja Kerker. But what we are also given to understand is that the committee will have to submit its report within two weeks. And this has come in the wake of various social media, social uh, uh, activists uh, raising the objections over the can over the certificates those were submitted by Pooja Kerker for availing the concession. Uh, but but we are also given to understand is that uh, uh, after uh, the transfer of uh, Pooja Kerker also the entire uh, controversy has erupted. Remember that she was also seen uh, using red beacon and uh, following which we had seen massive controversy had erupted. Uh, what we are given to understand it is that now the central government has intervened and formed a single member committee that could be chaired by right. senior officer of the rank of uh, additional secretary to the government of India and the committee will have to submit its report within two weeks. Okay. Uh, this story, of course, thanks very much, Piyush, uh, is part of what is started off as a power trip of an IAS trainee from Pune, Pooja Khedkar. But it's ended up sparking a national outrage over the IAS officer, IAS train, uh, an IAS trainee because she's accused of not only faking her disability certificate, skipping medical tests for the same, but also faking her OBC non-creamy layer status simply to crack the highly coveted civil services exam. She's also under the radar for her VVIP demands. The question is, has an IAS officer rigged the system? Take a look. After the massive need scam row, now questions over UPSC exams that pick India's future bureaucrats, diplomats and police officers. Dr. Pooja Kherkar, an IAS probationer posted in Pune, has been transferred to Washim for alleged misuse of power. The transfer comes after Kherkar made news for seeking unauthorized privileges, such as using a private Audi car equipped with a red-blue beacon and VIP number plate and displaying a Maharashtra government board on her personal vehicle. Khedkar allegedly made demands for an official car with a VIP number plate, accommodation and an official chamber, which were against the protocol for probation officers. The officer is now embroiled in a bigger row after RTI activist Vijay Kumbhar claimed irregularities in her selection in UPSC exams. According to the activist, Khedkar allegedly submitted fake disability and non-creamy layer OBC certificates to clear the civil services examination. Khedkar claimed to be from non-creamy layer when her father, Dilip Khedkar, in 2024 Lok Sabha election affidavit, listed assets valued at 40 crore rupees. उनके पिताजी का जो एफिडेविट इलेक्शन कमीशन में उसमें उन्होंने अपने संपत्ति करीबन 40 करोड़ दिखाई है अगर जिनकी संपत्ति जिनके पिताजी की संपत्ति 40 करोड़ है उनको नॉन क्रिमिनल सर्टिफिकेट मिल कैसे सकता है पूजा खेड़कर डिक्लाइन टू कमेंट ऑन द चार्जेस बीइंग लेवलड अगेंस्ट हर Allegations of irregularities in the selection of Pooja Khedkar could hit the credibility of the civil services exams if the loopholes are not plugged soon. Bureau Report, India Today. Let's raise the big question. VVIP tantrums have they exposed this IAS probationer? Did the IAS officer rig her quota and her disability criteria to get selected to the civil services? Does this also once again now affect this time the credibility of the UPSC exam? I'm joined by Mahesh Zagade. He's former 
uh, Principal Secretary Maharashtra. Appreciate you joining us, sir. What is your sense you. when you've heard the uh, details? Is this an exceptional case? Doesn't happen often that an IS officer could be caught, a probationer, or possibly rigging her certificates and uh, making all these VVIP demands. There are two separate issues here. But does this worry you that this could be happening? Or is this a one-off case? Uh, Rajdeep, it does worry because uh, the kind of allegations are being made uh, incessantly for the last two, three days in social media and national TV channels and print media. There appears to be some uh, credence to it. And uh, the thing is revolving around two, three things. It's not so much uh, for like a beacon demand for a beacon light and uh, the uh, office that can be taken care of. Uh, mm -hmm. Like uh, this is also a violation of uh, rules because the VIP culture is no more in the country and nobody mm -hmm. can use uh, the beacon lights. Mm -hmm. Except policing and uh, ambulances, all that. Even ministers are not allowed. But here, uh, the police should have taken action. But that apart, I am not uh, very much concerned about it. I am concerned about the creamy layer certificate. If that is uh, faulty, and uh, if uh, the genuine creamy layer, non creamy layer uh, uh, candidates are being denied their right, then it's a serious matter for the entire country. No, but how uh, would that have happened, Mr. Zagade? Is it possible that the system overlooked it? Can you, uh, can you in a way, rig the system by? producing a false uh, a creamy layer or a false, in this case, non-creamy layer OBC certificate, a fake disability certificate, should there not be any checking, monitoring of it? See, Rajdeep, like uh, for caste certificate, there is one officer of the rank of deputy collector, he issues the caste certificate after the inquiry. Mm -hmm. And there is committee uh, of senior officers called scrutiny committee, they finally vet uh, the caste certificate. Right. Similar uh, thing is not there for the uh, non-creamy layer certificate. It is issued by the authorities, and then that is taken at the, uh, as the proof. I believe that there is some lacuna in the system uh, that uh, what kind of uh, system should be followed and whether it is to be vetted by the senior, senior committee or not, it's not there. So uh, it all depends on or revolves around one officer, whether he is giving it uh, rightly or wrongly. So uh, I, I think the uh, system needs to be revamped. This is one aspect. Uh, now, since uh, the, uh, uh, the competition is so much, to get the non-criminal layer certificate, probably, uh, I am told that in many cases, uh, they show the di uh, divorce between husband and wife and the assets are transferred to one parent and uh, the subject is supposed to be leaving to another parent having no income. So you get non-criminal layer certificate. It is going to that so level. So you've, heard, no, you've so, heard this before? No, no, what you're saying, sir, that you have heard that there are people who are getting the non-criminal layer certificate to get through the services using various uh, yeah. techniques, including creating a divorce situation and then claiming that exactly. she... Exactly, that, that's how it has been done. And, and for even the physically ha handicap also, like physical handicap, uh, there, there are also like many, uh, there, there is murmur around that they also they are being rigged and then manipulated. My simple issue is that after 75 years of uh, the country's existence, uh, the systems have to be in place before something new comes in. Like right. if they are allowing non-criminal certificates on the physical handicap, whole foolproof system has to be there. Uh, that apart, like, but before appointing an officer to the post uh, or taking as a training officer, the entire check has to be done. Uh, foolproof has to so be done. I think, I think you're making a very, very important point that you need a foolproof checking system. The present system clearly has loopholes. It is possible that Pooja Khedkar has misused those uh, uh, loopholes. And therefore, this could well be an investigation that goes beyond our case, but looks at the larger issue of the way non creamy layer certificates, disability certificates are being issued for those who take benefits. Mr. Zagari, I appreciate you joining me here on the show tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, let me Thank turn. You. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.